This is CNC World, a new perspective. Toronto was the target of a zombie invasion last Saturday. Thousands of the undead took over the Canadian city for the annual zombie walk and for a good cause. It's cold, it's wet, and it's rainy, but that's not going to stop thousands of very determined zombies from taking over the city today. Now, nearly 10,000 incredibly realistic and gory zombies and monsters have just started their 11th annual parade to scare the life out of mere mortals just like you and me. The zombie walk's first year drew just the seven participants, but it has become immensely popular in the ever-growing zombie-loving community. There were tons of special performances and contests running throughout the day-long event, but for many, the best part is getting creative, getting into full zombie mode and doing some zombie watching. It takes more than a little fake blood to be a zombie. Most of the participants have put weeks into creating a costume and story to go with it. I was a teacher and I got killed, you know, that's where the pencil came from, from the math section or whatever. Despite the large number of scary zombies walking the streets, it's not only for adults. Elena says she brought her five-year-old son to desensitize him to monsters. This is the first year that he actually starts to noticing like zombies and more like monster-like and they're not real and that they all a sham and it's all so good. And, and of course, they're having fun in the process. Well, like my son and I, we did we did our costumes together. Like he was happy to be playing with mud and inside the house, so that was actually pretty good. And it just the whole process was to get him involved into something different that he will enjoy and that hopefully we'll be able to carry on. Ivana has spread to a number of other Canadian cities and cities in other countries like New York and Melbourne. Participants explain their fascination with zombies. Uh, I think it's just a, a fun way to play with death. You know, normally you get scared about death, and here's everyone just having a great time with death. And just, it's a bit over the top, but I think it's just fun to play around with the, that idea, right? I like how they want to eat brains. Because, like, I, I have no idea how they're going to get the brains out of your body to eat them. All the fun aside, the annual walk is held in support of the Heart and Stroke Foundation. This is CNC World, a new perspective.